navigator and there's this king who hires me and he wants me to go find these three people who I don't even know. Are they like kind of wise guys? They're kind of like wise. Yeah, really smart guys. They're really smart and they put me in this awful position and I am really mad. They put me in this awful position. Uh, what's your character? What's your character? Uh, well, I, I don't want to get all into the specifics, but I, I, I'm actually uh, a king uh, from the from biblical times, and uh, and he, he's really mean, right? And man, I, I really would like my coffee, man. Let, let me let me send somebody to check on that coffee for you, Mr. Watson. Go ahead. Okay. Are you, oh, are, oh. are you afraid of this king? Are, are this this ruler yes. you, is he scary? You yes, know, because he could well not that scary, but he could chop my head off. Really? Is he ugly? Mm, yeah, kind of. All right. Um, and so the, it's a he's a dictator, and and he just uh, you know he he hires this this investigator who's got like an incredibly big head, and so. Role. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the play, about the about your role in, in the in the play? Well, I'm a librarian, and there's this investigator who needs to know everything, and he's always snooping around in my library, and I just can't keep it quiet because there's always someone singing or there's always someone talking real loud. So, what role do you guys play? We play the storytellers. So you're telling the the big picture and what's happening, yeah. A challenging play for you? Did it change your life at all? Did you know? Tell us a little bit about that. It definitely changed my life for sure. So uh, tell tell me, was this was this role challenging for you? Was it was it extremely tough for you to get into character? What was it tough to me for me to get into character? Uh, you no, know, man, because I I consider myself a very uh, very nice person. I, I, you know, I'm not a dictator. Where is my coffee? Uh, hey, you know, I, I thought about doing, you know, this whole king character, and and uh, and I, I just couldn't really get into it at first, you know. And my uh, my wife has said, hey, this guy is a kind of a mean guy and kind of mean and snobby. She says, honey, just be yourself. Hey, um, last year when I did this, it taught me a few things and then this year like this since they changed it and that I really it really changed some things for me did it change your heart change so in this in this movie line in this story did it did it have an impact on your life did it change you at all well the first time I met Jesus he it was actually true and then he changed my life and then I went into a Christmas play and then the Christmas play brought more things about into, into my heart. Yes, it taught me that I'm going that you should go another way to Jesus instead of turning back from him. And, that, and from what I understand, and I haven't read the book all the way through, but uh, I, I I I think he doesn't. Uh, he finds out that he's not the who the king. He's not the uh, the real king. It's some baby. You know, so uh, uh, it's it's a very very good story, I, I, um, and and I would suggest that anyone should read it. Troy, where's my coffee, man? <laughs> Bring him to me.
you, Troy. Thank you for finally getting my coffee that I've been asking for for the past 15 minutes. But uh, but seriously, you know, talking to you, all all of you out there, you all need to come and see this movie. No, 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 no. Like, you definitely, man, you definitely need to come and see... You! You back there who's sleeping in the back row, man. I've seen you the past 12 Sundays. You've been sleeping in the back row. You are the main one, man, who needs to be here to this movie, and you need to check it out. Check it out.